Hello everyone, welcome to today's talks. Thursday the 16th of February. Now, of all the states in the United States, Florida has uh, led all of them in collecting data, or perhaps not so much collecting data, but making that data public and acting on that data in meaningful ways, as we've seen in previous recordings. So this is from the Florida Health Department. And this is the figures that they've just published um, from the Vaccine Adverse Events Reporting System in Florida. So here we see the numbers on this scale here, pretty large numbers. And uh, these are... So that's Dr. John Campbell. Um, I don't even know how he's able to post this video. I thought this went against the YouTube guidelines because uh, you're not allowed to talk to about the jab. But uh, I guess uh, uh, because he's just quoting from other sources, uh, it's okay. So I don't know. I'm going to go out on a limb here and just try to give you the numbers that, well, out of his video and some other videos. Uh, um, so uh, so what, he, what his report is about, and you watch him. I mean, he's got all the details and everything. I'm just uh, giving you the the over-the-top uh, view of, of what he was talking about, and, uh, and that's Dr. John Campbell on YouTube. Uh, he's been following the uh, the um, the cough ever since it started uh, back in 2020, and he does a great job. The guy's smart as hell. Um, so anyway, Florida's released their numbers on uh, um, the jab, adver well, not the jab, but vaccine adverse events. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, and um, that was a 4,400 uh, threatening to percent increase in threatening events in 2021. So uh, make of that what you will, make of that what you will. Uh, these events include uh, coagulation disorders, acute cardiac injuries, Bell's palsy, and encephalitis. Um, there was uh, the risk numbers were one in 550 in individuals, uh, which is uh, much higher than uh, for other vaccines uh, by uh, orders of magnitude. Um, and then uh, uh, he, he expresses the need in his video that we really need a, a, a nationwide, of course, never get it under the Biden administration, you know, the, uh, the eco-terrorist uh, warmongering Democrats. I, um, hell, I, I guess I should put medical terrorist at this point. Uh, but uh, he's saying that we need a nationwide uh, harm benefit analysis. I completely agree with that. Israel put out a study. Uh, they were seeing a 25% increase in uh, cardiac events. Um, uh, that's also in Dr. It might have been in his video. I've, I've, I've been watching, I've been kind of focusing on the jab today, and uh, it wasn't my intention. I just happened to see that Florida released a study, and you know, I live in Florida, so I was very interested in what they had to say. Uh, you know, one of the things that I always wonder about, and I wonder if you've ever thought about it, was you know, not only did the, uh, the Biden administration give the uh, drug companies. Um, Pfizer and Moderna, billions of dollars for all of these um, jab, jabs and continuing to do it. I mean, think of that. I'm, so all of our tax money has gone to profit the uh, pharmaceutical companies. But the other thing I want to point out is turn on your radio, turn on your TV, turn on anything, and there'll be an advertisement for the jab. All that's paid for with your tax money. That's all advertisements for the pharmaceutical companies. You understand that? So we as taxpayers are not only paying the, the, the pharmaceutical companies billions of dollars, which gets back into the politicians' pockets, probably Biden buying him a new mansion down in, who knows, Boca Raton. But uh, so all that money just goes around the horn. It's like a, you know, it's like a money laundering. And then also, then your tax money goes to pay for all these advertisements. How many times have you heard them say, go visit vaccine.gov, vaccine.gov. I, I get tired of hearing it. And every time I hear it, it makes me angry because I can't believe other people aren't angry that they're spending. Now, if the pharmaceutical companies were doing the advertising on their own, I wouldn't care. That's their prerogative. They can advertise their vaccines all they want. But no, it's the federal government. Um, the other thing was Dan Bongino pointed out uh, in, in his video on this is that they've now put it into the, uh, the required vaccines for children. Uh, the jab is now uh, considered a uh, childhood, uh, what is it called, in childhood shot, it's put in the childhood shot schedule very quietly by the CDC. So that means that um, you can never sue the uh, pharmaceutical companies. You know, we were already under an emergency uh, declaration that said you couldn't sue the pharmaceutical companies for any adverse uh, events. 
So now they've made it permanent with this uh, introduction of the shot of the jab into the um, the uh, childhood shot schedule. So make of that what you will. Uh, and this was a this was a cute video. I was watching another podcaster. Sometimes I you know I got you got to watch other people and see what. But it was a young kid on there, and uh, he's twenty. Well, I say young, twenty three years old. And he said, rather than call it Gen Z, he wants to call it Gen Free. And wouldn't that be a wonderful thing um, that, that if that happened? And, and the woman was on there talking to him. And I, and I agreed with her. She was talking about how many friends, I, well, so-called friends, if you want to call them that, um, that, uh, that she lost, uh, you know, basically saying that she wasn't going to get the jab. I, I didn't get it either because I had an adverse reaction to the anthrax vaccine. Any, anything that you can't sue somebody over, I'm not going to do that. I mean, if you're protecting somebody, there's usually a reason that you're protecting somebody. You know, if, 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 if you're in the mob and this guy's untouchable, then he's probably corrupt, right? You know, I mean, I, uh, you know, the untouchables, whatever. You know, I so I when when they said that you know that this thing was an emergency declaration and no way you know if anything that happens uh, and also you know it was so experimental at that time I'd never heard of mRNA, and then they changed the definition of a vaccine to to accommodate the mRNA and I was like, well, wait a minute if we got to change the definition of a vaccine, and and then what happened was you know at first they were saying that you couldn't get sick after you got the jab then then people were getting sick. I mean, it just went on and on and on. And, and, and then you point out, I would point out to these people, I said, well, you know, I, I got it early on and I haven't had it since then, but you got the jab and you've had it since then. So who's right and who's wrong? You're, you're a terrorist. I'm an unvaxxed terrorist is what I would get. Oh my God. I, these people were so brainwashed. Uh, and, and so anyway, what I was going to say was I completely lost all my friends, uh, or so-called friends, uh, any, anybody that was a Democrat, I can't even speak to them no more. Uh, and then, it, well, it ended, and it was partially responsible for my divorce. My wife uh, made me sleep in a separate bedroom because I wouldn't get the jab. Uh, she said that I was putting her in danger was the words that she used, because uh, she was a, she's a liberal, well, I, I, I'd say psychopathic Democrat uh, that uh, just believes everything the government tells her. Uh, she's definitely, she's against the First Amendment of Constitution. She can't stand free speech, my ex-wife, you know, and she was against the Second Amendment of the Constitution. So I was like, you know, how in the hell did I get married to this woman? But she changed. She wasn't like that, I swear, when we first got married. Her, her sister here in Florida corrupted her, and that's, that's my explanation. But I'm telling you, this is how extreme people got with this mass psychosis that, you know, I mean, it even broke apart marriages where they were like, you know, in my, in my case, my marriage, my wife was like, you know, no, you can't sleep. I don't want you in our bedroom no more. You won't, you won't protect me with the jab. Like, Holy shit. That was just my experience. And so I was relating to this woman that she was talking about how, how many people that will not speak to her to this day. Um, the, uh, this was an interesting statistic from Dan Bongino. Uh, the legacy media has, given uh, the, the Ohio train crash uh, less than 30 minutes of coverage. So that, uh, that's unbelievable. And then, of course, I saw it yesterday. We got a huge fire here in Florida. I'm telling you, our infrastructure is being destroyed, um, probably by the by Biden administration, uh, in cahoots with China. That's my guess. I don't know. How else can you explain it? This, this is all these, these train derailments, all this uh, infrastructure getting destroyed, all the food processing plants going up. Uh, is it a conspiracy theory? That's where me and Alex Jones need to get together. That's for damn sure. I'd, I'd love to be on his show. Uh, getting into some personal stuff, I always try to help you. Uh, let's uh, Before I get that, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to... Uh, yeah, so here's Alex Jones. He always says that the, the WEF is a bunch of Satanists. <laughs> I tend to agree with that. Uh, of course, he includes the Biden administration and Trudeau in those categories. Uh, I, I, I wonder if they do get out and dress in red robes and, uh, and burn uh, babies, you know. And, 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 but anyway, um, I, I, one, one thing, I guess you've heard about this uh, Ashbury University in Kentucky. They're doing this revival. It's, I guess it's still going on. I don't know. It's pretty motivating. I was, uh, if you're a Christian, um, it's good to see stuff like that. And uh, Dan Bongino is going to give his whole show, well, tonight, I think. 
He's going to give the show tonight on that, so you might want to watch him. Uh, he's going to—I don't know if he's going there. Or he's just going to give him a, a FaceTime from Zoom or whatever. Um, uh, all right, so that's that's kind of it. Let's see, I got one last note here. Oh yeah, the Scotland Prime Minister uh, Nicola Sturgeon Surgeon has resigned. Uh, she's a globalist. So that's a good thing. I just, I don't know if they'll get somebody else in there that's any better. So let's get into the personal stuff where I always try to help you as, as best I can. You know, the first thing that, that I wanted to point out is always try to eliminate the noise in your life. Uh, and when I say noise, uh, like just yesterday, I was thinking about this, and that's why I took a note on this, was I keep getting these, I don't know what your auto dealers are like in your area, but I'm going to tell you what, I still get flyers. I don't even know how they found my address. I get flyers from the damn auto dealers up in Michigan. Like, I'm going to travel from Florida to Michigan to buy a car. I mean, you know, I, mean it's just, I mean, I guess I could if I got a really good deal, you know. But So I finally, I've started calling them up and I'm saying, get me out of your damn database, man. These are for, and they're, they're basically sending you flyers on cars you don't even own no more, you know. And uh, and, and so I'm, that's what I'm saying is it's not just with cars, but any any stupid stuff that you keep getting over and over again whether it be an old motorcycle or an old car or whatever you know start calling them up man tell them delete me from your damn database that's also a, a cyber security thing you know the less databases that you're in the better off you are right i'm just just saying i mean that's uh, that was the first thing um oh this uh, young kid i thought it was pretty cool uh he was talking about that and here he is 23 years old i'd, I'd never did this when i was 23 uh, I guess, well, at 23, I think I was still in college. I don't know. But uh, he says he's, I guess he's got a house and he's, he said he's going to turn his uh, basement into a prepping area. And we've talked masks in previous videos, but I thought I'd uh, go over it again. Um, well, let's, before I get on the mask, let's talk about computer backups real quick. These are Western Digital uh, uh, backup drives. That They're just USB. If you've got a 3.0 or 3.1 or 3.24, port uh, you can back things up uh, real easily and then i i use this uh, label maker because uh, you can't read my handwriting and you know this is the uh, brother label maker you can buy these at amazon and uh, of course the tape for it uh, they've got the off name brand tape and it's, it's pretty dang going cheap and so you look at this see, see these labels uh, i'm going to bring this up to the to the thing see, see how good it prints so i labeled each of my drives of what i have on uh, on each drive now i'm i'm way overkill on these because i got my videos backed up uh you know good lord i got hundreds of videos and then uh i also back up all my um or i do an image backup onto these drives and that's it you know because the image backup really backs up everything on the computers and i've got well four computers now so but and, and why do i have four of these because i uh, there's so much stuff that, I, and I want redundant, because I've lost, you lose a backup and it's your only backup, you're screwed. So I always have a, a second, so this has got videos on it, this has got videos on it, you know, and, and then I also space things out. This has got downloads, Microsoft Action Pack, Windows Image Backup, and music on here, you know. So anyway, I'm just showing you, and these aren't that expensive. Look at this, $400. For, for 5, what's 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20 terabytes of, of, of backup. I mean, that's huge. And uh, and yeah, you got to keep up with it. That's uh, That was another thing I was going to print off. Uh, I keep a schedule on my refrigerator. Now that I'm not married, uh, I can actually do that. And on there, I put, you know, all the, I got all my to-do items. I got all my appointments. Uh, I just update it from time to time and I put that piece of paper on the fridge and then of course I keep track of my backups when the furnace filter was changed when was the last time I did the gutters when was the last time I adjusted the sprinkler you know just all the things that you can think of that you got to do on a regular basis you know so that's it for that let's continue with the backups for one more second um, this is these are um, these are uh, these are cheap USB drives I mean I, I dare say these you can pick these up for I don't know, 40, 60 bucks. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, I've got uh, four of them and I keep them in, in multiple locations. And these are these are all my personal files. And what I do is I use WinMerge. You can download that. Just do WinMerge. I think it's WinMerge.org. Okay, just type in uh, DuckDuckGo uh, and say WinMerge. You can download it. It's, it's freeware. 
and uh, and you can uh, and what you do is you do a comparison. I keep all my 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 files in one directory, so you you might be under documents. I don't use documents. I use my my personal name as my directory. So and and so I'm constantly comparing my uh, my files on my computer to what's on these drives, and then then I just copy everything over, and that way uh, can keep everything up to date. And I do that uh, so you know the image backups once every couple months. These backups once every couple days, right? And then you, you want to get just a little USB drive. This is only about, I don't know, I, I, I couldn't tell you the space on this, but this is what I call my 16 gigabytes. There you go. This is just a little 16 gigabyte drive. And so I turn this into a multi-boot uh, USB drive. And that just means you, you go out with Yummy. Yummy is the tool that you can use. And you just load a bunch of uh, uh, operating systems or whatever. You can, you can run antivirus software. There's all kinds of things that you can boot into through Yummy. Uh, or even Linux operating systems, right? You know, because you can boot right off of this into a Linux operating system. Anyway, it's pretty cool. I always keep that as a multi-boot uh, USB drive uh, just in case I need to boot the computer to something else besides the, uh, the main disk. All right, so let's get to the mask two seconds. So the kid was talking about masks. These are, uh, I think I only paid like 20 bucks. These are 3M Coolflow um, uh, M95-8511. This is a count of 10. Now, I just keep 10 on hand. Uh, this is when the schmoozy hits the schmoozy, you know, because they're, they're going to come out with the next pandemic. You can bet on that. Now, that would give you some protection. That, that, that N95, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm not going to say anything about cloth masks. You do what you want. Uh, but that is true protection. I'm not anti-mask. I'm not, in fact, I'm very pro mask. I'm just pro the right mask, okay? I'm pro the right mask. And the, the, the people in Ohio, this is what I said they should be wearing. These are the 3M um, uh, full face, uh, full face medium uh, mask. This is the 6800. I got this at Walmart and it took a long time for me to get it. So if you're thinking about getting a mask, you better order it now before the whole world starts ordering them. And especially if you live near a train, because I, I don't think we've seen the end of the train derailments because I do believe our infrastructure is getting destroyed. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope I helped you a little bit. I always try to. Uh, it's a little bit different theme. I didn't, didn't hit on the Ukraine war today. I did see that there was another town. Couldn't tell you. I might make another video today that, uh, that has fallen. Um, and I don't think it was near Bakhmut. It was uh, in, in another region. I couldn't tell you what it, what it was. Uh, like I said, I might make another video, but uh, and that's an, that was the la the last thing I want to say in this video is I always divide my life up, and so the reason that I got into all of this um, uh, jab stuff was uh, I just kind of put the TV on in the background while I'm working because this is a paperwork day. So I've been in my office. I was supposed to rain today. It turned out to be a beautiful day, but I, you know you can't exercise every day. You can't you know, go to physical therapy every day. You, you can't take care of your finances every day. You know, I mean, so every now and then you got to set a day aside and just sit in there and do paperwork. And, uh, and so, oh, that was another thing I wanted to cover was, you know, one of the big things that I'm doing right now, and it's a lot of damn work, is I'm putting together my will, um, uh, my foundation, because all my, all my belongings are going to go to a foundation that's going to benefit the community in which I live. Um, it's a, and that's a lot of work. I've set up my funeral arrangements. That all has to go into the will. You know, I've got certain people that I want to leave certain belongings to. That has to go into the will. So it's a hell of a lot. And of course, you got to write your obituary. I'm going to put together a, a, a funeral video that I want them to play at my funeral, which is, I don't know if they'll be, they should have the capability. And I, on that, I'm going to put a bunch of music that I want playing at my funeral, you know. Uh, you can't trust all this stuff to other people. And, and, and then I'll burn that to a, a USB drive and I'll give it to the funeral home and they'll put it in my folder. So whenever I die, they just plug that USB drive in and it'll be, it'll be a long video, but you know, people won't stay to watch the whole damn video, but I want the music, music up first, you know, for, for the actual dropping of the coffin into the ground, right? So I'm just telling you, these are all things that you need to get done. Get it done, get it done, get it done. Peace out, stay free. It's good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious.